Welding to a lot of people, I feel, seems like very out of reach. But when you move this back and forth and you manipulate that, I was a little scared because I was like, oh, if I was God, a robot, that's I... crazy. Like, you don't just pick up welding, you know? <laughs> it's not that there are not people that are interested in it. It's because we've been going to the same places to find the same people. A lot of people have this perception that you need to spend a lot of time under the hood to get your foot in the door. It's just really not true. What's up, everybody? How's it going? You guys ready to weld tonight? Yeah. You need to have this part molten, this part molten, and that part molten all in the same. Goodwill mold. Construction Skills Training Center's focus is being able to be a pipeline into the industry for construction and trades. <laughs> <laughs> We're obviously a trade school, so construction That's good to go. is our core skill set. However, my director, Marvin Kelly, he has a saying, he likes to be cutting edge, bleeding edge. If there are employment opportunities and it's in a growth arena, then I'm open to it. That little skinny wire is not going to carry that 100 amps and 20 something volts. They continually the take a chance on new ideas, and that's what I love. It's almost like a startup culture. One of the things that we try to do with kind of this pilot program is just kind of show people that the entry point doesn't have to be so steep. We have no fusion in this plate at all. So we started the class out and within an hour or so, we had people in jackets and hoods and safety glasses welding. And give yourself a way where you feel that you can get in here comfortable. I normally don't volunteer for stuff. <laughs> like I'm never the first to try anything because I'm like, let me watch other people do it first. This was for some reason I was like, let me be the first person to try this. <laughs> I was scared. It was like as soon as I started doing it, I was like, oh, this is not that. As hard as I thought it was going to be, you just kind of glide against the metal. Stop. There you go. OK, I'm taking a picture of that. <laughs> yeah. Not to be childish. I kinda, it's like, oh, I'm a badass now. Like, oh, if my friends could see me doing this. Like, this evening, I came in, and they were all literally out there working with the equipment. I would have thought it would take taken a couple more days to get to that point. We're condensing what could be a very long program. So now he sits down in there? So we can get someone into an organization after three to 10 days of working with a great instructor and getting the basics down. And it's coming out at a certain rate. There's a lot of different processes that people can be introduced to. You're watching that whole leading edge of the puddle. My goal is I want people to win immediately. Once we get to about halfway or so, I'm gonna let you go. I'm noticing the things that Nate said the first day, now I see it. It's really a kind of career that can take you wherever you want to go. I mean, you could literally travel to any country with that skill set, put a hood on, jacket and gloves, and jump into a career. There's a lot of shops including really, really good shops that don't require certification. It's really, I think, encouraging for them to feel like that this is something that they can do. Feel it in my blood now. The excitement was everywhere. With their enthusiasm for the class, with other classes coming in and saying, what are you doing? How do I take this class? The sky's the limit here at Google Construction Skills Training Center to see the smiles on their faces. This is how we feel when we weld a good weld. As they were doing something that I don't think they ever thought would be possible, and it definitely wasn't in the cards when they were coming to Goodwill. For that, we're appreciative.